Paul Smith, I uh, teach in the Division of uh, Chemistry and Environmental Science. I'm a senior lecturer in inorganic chemistry. Essentially what a, a screencast is that it's a capture of the activity of what's going on on your computer screen whilst you're able to give a audio commentary about what's going on and what you're doing on the computer screen. So it's, it's a very versatile tool, so you could be uh, using any number of, of different programs and it allows you to provide a narration over the top to explain what you're, what you're doing. What I've been trying to do is essentially use them as a tool to promote pre-lecture engagement. And it's part of something called the flipped teaching model, where what you try and aim to do is to create an environment in which the teaching contact time is flipped so that it becomes more learner-centered rather than teacher-centered. And the problem is that lectures can occasionally become just a process of transmission of information. So I've been using the screencasts to try and get some of the information to the students up front before the lecture. So this then allows them to engage more in problem solving and question exercises. And it allows them to come to the lecture primed, prepared, so that they can then uh, start to look at problems and we can start to look at sort of higher, higher order sort of cognitive skills rather than the lecture just being purely about transmitting uh, information. So I've, the screencasts have been a very valuable tool in initiating that pre-lecture engagement. So what I've been trying to do is kind of provide a brief summary of some of the key points in the, that are going to be in the lectures. So I've, I've tried to keep them relatively shortish. Um, mine have been sort of somewhere around about 15, uh, 20 minutes. The students have been using them before, but they've also found them extremely valuable to come to visit afterwards. Uh, particularly for revision purposes, so we, we had um, a midterm test. The students found them very useful for preparing for that. The students have uh, said that they use them for exams. I've been looking on the, on, on the Moodle and some of the, the videos have been getting uh, um, hits of around about 150 prior to the, the recent exams which just took place last month. So they do see them as, um, as a tool for engaging throughout the year, but they do also like to revisit them for revision purposes. Those are very, very popular. And the idea of having uh, a pre-lecture screencast is that it allows you to try and integrate what's happening on the VLA into your, into your weekly classes. So it creates um, a routine of visiting the screencast, so you've engaged with the, the VLA before the lecture, so you're visiting it each, each week, rather than the VLA just being this uh, depository of a large amount of information that students don't really look at that much until the end of the year when they're going to uh, revise. So it, it kind of helps to bring together the, uh, the e-resources and the face-to-face -face, uh, teaching. I have found that uh, it has helped in terms of uh, increasing the amount of audience participation in, uh, in lectures. Students have been, um, those who have been using them have been much more willing to participate uh, and provide answers uh, to, to questions. Um, I found that the overwhelming feedback I've got from students has been very positive. Uh, there's only been, you know, very few students in the feedback that I've got who um, are fairly ambivalent to it. The vast majority of students have found it extremely, extremely useful. A lot of the teaching is still done face to face. It involves a teacher explaining to a, a group of a group of students in a class, and very little of that material is actually recorded. 
The students may only just get that one chance to hear you explain it. So by recording the voice combined with the visuals in these screencasts, it, it is a, a relatively easy way of, of capturing that and, and providing it as a resource for the students to, to revisit. So I think they do value that opportunity of listening to the tutor explain the theory again. Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.